Hi, I'm Ted Rogers. Welcome to History by the Plate. The Breton region in France, or Brittany, is rugged, with granite outcroppings and steep cliffs running along its coastline. Many people see it as harsh, and yet this harsh area is where we derive one of France's most delicate of foods, the crepe. During the early Middle Ages, not many foodstuffs grew on the moors of Brittany. Many considered the people of the area as harsh and impoverished as the landscape. Then, in the 12th century, traders brought a new crop, buckwheat, to the land. And buckwheat thrived in the harsh conditions of Brittany. And this grain, high in easily digestible protein, high in fiber, and with eight key amino acids, added significantly to the diets of the local population, boosting the health of the people there. One of the favorite ways of incorporating this new grain into the diet was by grinding it into flour and mixing it with what the people of Brittany already had, which were eggs and milk. The cook would then pour a dollop of this porridge onto a cast iron plate heated in a wood-burning fireplace. Though the tool of choice today may be a self-contained gas or electrically heated surface, the cooking method remains the same. Pour the batter on the hot, buttered surface, let it cook for about 30 to 60 seconds, then flip and cook it for another 30 to 60 seconds, and each side of the crepe will resemble basically the surface of the moon, and its edges will begin to curl, which is how the crepe got its name from the Latin crispus, which means curled. The people in Brittany wrapped the original crepes around whatever foods were available at the time, often things like scrambled eggs, cheese, or ham. Sweet varieties developed early as well. Now, surprisingly, it was not until the 20th century that chefs began using white flour to make crepes. Until then, white fat flour had been disproportionately expensive, costing the same by weight as choice cuts of meat. Today, crepes are served both as savory main dishes as well as just scrumptious desserts. I hope you have found this helpful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. As well, please visit our website at www.historybytheplate.com. There, you'll find plenty of really great recipes. As a matter of fact, this Friday I'm posting my favorite crepe recipe, as well as more instructional videos, more history items, especially history of food, as well as um, reviews, travel tips, and the like. So, happy cooking to you. We'll see you later. Take care.